Hello and welcome to today's show. We're going to be talking about how you might feel stuck on your road to financial freedom as a lot of teachers do. And here are some tips, tricks, and strategies to help you get over that hurdle and really move towards financial success. Hey friends, I'm Casey Morris, a former eighth grade English and language arts teacher from a really small town in South Georgia. And I had a dream back in 2013 to make enough money online selling my lesson plans as a teacher just to pay our Netflix bill. And you're going to hear a little bit about what my struggles were in when it came to finances, in my mindset, when it came to being a teacher, and how I didn't have a really good, clear grasp around what it meant to make extra money, and how I've helped thousands of teachers now really dig down deep and find financial success more than they ever thought possible. One of our students sent me a screenshot yesterday. She made $13,000 this month insanity. Um, some of our other students are making over a hundred thousand dollars a year. It has truly been the greatest gift that I have ever been given to be able to share my tips, tricks, and secrets to what's got me to a multi-million dollar business today. And I can't wait to share some of that with you. But before we get into all of the details, I just wanted to say thank you so much for spending your day with me, for watching this video, and let's get started, shall we? So if you're feeling stuck on your road to financial freedom, here are some things that you can try. But first, if you're just getting started on your journey to sell your lesson plans or just make extra income online, we have about 10 different ways our teachers are making money in today's day and age. All you have to do is go to caseymorris.com quiz and I'll take you down your own unique journey and your own unique path. I'll say hello to you in your inbox and I'll share all of the cool things we have coming your way in the next few weeks that'll help you get started inside of our free trainings and so much more. So head on over to caseymorris.com after you watch this slash quiz to go ahead and get started. Plus, you can download my new and improved teacher's map of online business secrets. Now, if you take that quiz that you saw on the previous slide, you'll get this on the results page. So no need to go download it here. You'll already have access to it. But if you already have taken the quiz and you just want the map of online business secrets, go to caseymorris.com dot com slash map and download this it's brand new it's improved and I give you my top 10 secrets to making more income more impact and more freedom as a teacher in the classroom or if your heart desires a teacher outside of the classroom I'm not sure if you can hear the CEO teacher train outside of my of my doors would have all my windows open up at the office today so it's super loud coming by and if you're a weekly listener of the CEO teacher podcast you are very familiar with our CEO teacher train so I wanted to share this quote about Dave Ramsey. I love Dave's ideas around how to get out of financial uh, frustrations, and I have been a part of his entrepreneur leadership programs on how to build a business. But Dave says, you will either learn to manage money or the lack of it will always manage you. And guys, that is so true, right? I feel like you either feel great about where you are financially or you just feel stuck. And speaking of feeling stuck, have you ever felt like you were so deep in financial debt that there's just no way out, that there's just this quicksand that's grabbing hold of you and it's just pulling you down further and further and further? Well, I've been there too. I had two maxed out credit cards and I'm talking about with huge limits on them, nearly $100,000 in student loan debt. We were upside down on a car payment. We had no gap insurance that if we got in a car accident, there was nothing that was gonna help us pay off that vehicle. We were on Medicaid. We were on WIC to pay for health costs and our groceries. When I had our first couple of kids, we could barely afford to eat anything other than Tostitos pizzas. And that is not an exaggeration. We didn't qualify for Medicaid until our third child. And when I got on Medicaid and had my third child, um, I still owed money for my second baby at the time. And I was young, I was 23 years old, and I literally had no idea what I was doing. And one day I went into the doctor for a doctor's visit and a checkup for, my, for our third baby. And I got there and the doctor had paid off my medical bill and the nurses had given me flowers. And I remember literally falling apart in the doctor's office, thinking, why me? Why do I deserve this? And you know, sometimes you just need a little bit of glimmer of hope to let you know that you're not alone and that you can get out of this. So I don't know if that was God's way of saying, Casey, 
there's more to life than this. You have so much going for you. You just have to find it. So maybe it's a tax refund for you. Maybe it's a check in the mail, but if there's some glimmer of hope today or in the next few weeks that says maybe this is going to work for you, I think that it, as a person of faith, it's God's way of saying, you know what, there's more for you than the stress of dealing with financial worry and so much more. And if you're a teacher, then I'll be able to share what we can do to help you get there too. But Thank goodness we were living in this trailer rent-free that my husband's family let us live in. And I went back after I had our fifth baby um, a couple weeks after she was born. And I just told my husband, I was like, let's go. Let's go back to the trailer. And he's like, okay. So we drove out there and I sat on it and the sun was shining. It was a beautiful day. And I was like, take a picture. Like, man, it, it just feels so good. You know, it actually, the trailer looks great right here compared to what it looked like when we lived there. It got a whole new facelift. They painted it. Um, the trees are bigger, but you know, it is, it's insane to think of what life used to look like versus what it looks like now. Now make no mistake. I don't believe that material things make you happier or that you are happier if you make more money, because if you don't fall in love with the process, you won't be in love with the product once you get there. I began falling in love with the process of being who I was and stepping into that light while it making extra money before I ever got to where I am today. So I want to help you fall in love today Day, with the life that you live as we work on making the life of your future because you are worthy of financial success. That's tip one on your road to financial freedom. I want you to remember these R's that I'm going to share with you. Number one, remember you are worthy of financial success. For some reason, teachers don't like to talk about money, probably because we don't make a lot of it. And we give and we give and we give so much so that we forget sometimes that we are also worthy of making a great income. We take care of the next generation. Educators deserve this life of financial freedom more than anyone that I know. So no matter what your pay scale says you're supposed to make each year or how many more degrees you wanna go back and get, there is a new wave of making income online and finding financial success that may not look like what everyone else has told you before. And that's what we are going to be sharing with you in the next few weeks. So number one was to remember you are worthy of financial freedom. Number two is to reframe your mind and your mantras around money. Now I first learned about mantras a few years ago, basically it's one statement that you say to yourself over and over and over again. You may have heard it um, said as affirmations, but basically you just say this to yourself and subconsciously your mind will tell you, you know what, this is true, this is fact. And who's to say if your mind tells you that something is true, that it's not true. And you start believing in the person that you're supposed to become and you start doing the things that you're supposed to do in order to be that person. And you get to become that person even before you get there. That's what falling in love with the process is all about. But my favorite mantra that I say to myself sometimes 10 times a day, and I want you to start repeating it to you yourself is I am worthy of financial success and money will help me help more people. Now, I didn't say that money will help me buy things because I am I don't believe that that is the kicker or the key to happiness at all. But I do believe that there is power in being a great person and helping people and and watching what money can do for the future of your children or your church or your community. So say this mantra, write it down, put it on a sticky note, put it in the notes app on your phone and start reiterating this statement to yourself. Try once a day, try before you go to sleep, before you get ready for school, but I am worthy of financial success and money will help me help more people. Just by saying that statement, you begin to stop focusing on all that you don't have and you start thinking about the possibilities of all the things that you can have. I know you've seen vision boards before where people put, here are all the things that I want. And I think there's a little bit of fun to that. You know, I had a vision board of all of the things that I wanted in life and I loved looking at it and it motivated me in the beginning, but now that doesn't motivate me as much because I really know now that I was put on the planet, not for things of this earth, but for the 
you know, appreciation of all of the things that I can do for other people too. So no matter what your focus is on, as you start to remind and reframe yourself around your mantras around money, this is going to be the ticket here. This is going to be what gets you from here to there. In the book, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, written in the 1930s, he talks a lot about utilizing mantras and saying things over and over and over again to yourself and how you really can program your mind. So first things first is our number Number one R we chatted about today was remember you are worthy of financial freedom. Number two is reframe your mind and mantras around money. And then finally, reduce your thoughts focused on lack. And I was listening to Steve Harvey this morning talk about the law of attraction and how no matter what happens, whether it's a good thought or a bad thought, you will receive the things that you think about. What you think about, you become. And it doesn't matter if it's good or if it's bad. Have you ever heard someone complain about being sick all the time and they are sick all the time? Have you ever heard someone talk about all the goodness in their life and it seems like everything they do and everything they touch turns to gold? Steve Harvey said that a pastor that he knew, said, someone said to the pastor, everything that you do turns to gold. And the pastor said, no, it's only the things that I focus on turn to gold. And I thought, oh, that is so good, right? We, we oftentimes focus on all of the bad things and we get sucked into the negative and toxic environments at our school or in our communities or in our families and we become those negative thoughts. But if we can start, even if it's just 1% better today than it was yesterday, with reducing our thoughts on the negative and the lack, instead of saying, I can't wait to get out of debt or how am I ever gonna pay off my home when I only make $30,000 a year? Instead of focusing on all of the things that you don't have and all of the debt that you have, start focusing in on statements and those mantras we talked about on, I am so excited about getting out of financial uh, out of financial worry. I cannot wait for the day when I have no bills. I can feel what it feels like to not have any bills in my life. And that is when the true magic happens. I read this book by Richard Dots called Dollars Flow to Me Easily. And it helped me reduce the thoughts around lack around money. I would look at my bank account every morning, get up, check my bank account, see if I had enough money in there. And if I did, I felt great for the day. If I didn't, I felt anxiety and fear and stress. And that controlled my day. I allowed whatever life circumstances were around me control how I felt. And I started to not do that anymore. Of course, I tracked how much money was in the bank, but not so much so that it controlled my thoughts and my feelings and my emotions for the day. And so the book Dollars Flow to Me Easily helped me really focus in on how I can attract more money to me and how I can live a better, more fulfilling life because of that. And I used to walk around the house and my husband would be like, okay. And I would say, um, dollars flow to me easily. And he was like, yeah, okay. And it was, it was almost like a joke, but just saying that statement really helped things turn around for me. Now in the coming weeks, I'm going to be sharing with you a secret link. So starting next week, I'm going to give you a link to a wait list of a video training series that we only do once or twice a year. That's going to show you step-by-step step how teachers just like you over 3000 of them have taken our strategies and have gone on to support their families more, to buy their dream homes, to buy their dream cars, and to live a life of financial success, whether that means while they're still in the classroom or if their heart desires to find more freedom outside of the classroom. But I'm going to show you what we call our 10 CEO teacher trailblazers inside of that training. And I'll show you all of the different ways teachers are earning crazy, insane income online and more freedom than they ever thought possible. So join me back here next week as I give you that secret link. And I hope to see you in our four day workshop in our video training series that'll teach you exactly how to do that too. Thanks so much for watching guys. All about how to focus in your ideas around money. And I can't wait to see you next week. And as always, remember that the best is yet to come. I'll see you soon. Bye guys.